Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and guys, I have some tea for you coming from New Jersey because George Diche is trying to come back. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and let's talk about this mess. Guys, as you know, Joy Judice was deported after he finished his sentence. His sentence, you know, he was in jail for like, I think, three years, okay? And then he also spent more time on an ICE um, detention center. I think it was like seven months, okay? So, and he ended up being deported. He, people, United States were like, I'm so sorry. Bye, bitch. We don't need you anymore. Bye. Well, now, apparently, he is trying to come back and he is hiring lawyers and doing everything he needs to be done because he thinks that he deserves to be here. OK, it says over here that on Saturday, November 19, Joy Judice told E! News that his manager, Dominic Enchington, uh, of Dominion Talent House connected him with attorney Jessica Kodabib so they could start the process of trying to get him to the United States. He confirmed that his lawyer is filing a waiver of inadmissibility. According to the U.S. Custom and Border Protection website, the waiver will allow certain inadmissible foreign nationals to enter the United States temporarily as non-immigrants. Okay. Then he goes and says, I feel I deserve one because I did my time for a mistake that I deeply regret. Okay. Uh, it cost me my life, my family. It was a bad judgment on my end, which I deeply regret. So, I mean, <sighs> I feel that this, he was such an idiot by never become a citizen. Being here for so many years and never become a citizen, honestly. I don't know if it's going to happen. Immigration here in the United States, it's a whole thing. It's very complicated. Now, these people, they have money, so maybe they're they're fine a, a way around it, you know? And I do think because, <clears throat> you know, three of her girls, uh, of his girls, you know, are still, like, in high school and, you know, elementary school and all that, and they might need uh, their father here, you know? So... Yeah, I mean, maybe. At the end of the day, he did jail time. He paid what he needed to pay. Like, and it was, I mean, I don't think it was, like, a huge, like, crime. I think, I don't remember. I think this was just, like, tax fraud and stuff like that, right? Uh, and bankruptcy fraud or something like that. So it's very, like, you know, um, just money money crimes you know so it wasn't like there was actual victims involved or any like that so i will say like yeah just let him come back you know he already did his time it's not like he flew it's not like he tried to not make it he they literally got accused they were like yes i'm guilty 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 you know they went to jail uh teresa went to jail <coughs> he went to jail like they already did their time you know uh teresa is rebuilding her life so maybe he should also be able to 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 rebuild his life and you know and he actually have lived almost all his life here in the united states you know in new jersey so i think that they should just let him back you know i mean of course he's gonna be like under the microscope for the rest of his life you know and honestly i don't think he will go into any illegal stuff anymore um so i don't know yeah i think i think i think they should just let him do it he pay his dues I guess, right? And I think that the girls, they really need their dad. And it's it's very hard, especially now with COVID and everything. You know, it's very annoying that to be flying to Italy all the time, you know, and they have school and they can always see him all the time. And the worst part is that he wants to be involved on her daughter's lives, you know? Like, he's not trying to not be a dad or anything. He wants to be there. It's just like he physically can't. 
So, you know, at this point, I say, like, we already gave a second chance to Teresa Giudice. Let's just give one to Joe, okay? And it could be also maybe a great storyline for Teresa next next season, right? So, yeah, anyways, that's what's happening with Joe Giudice. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that immigration should give him a second chance? Um, I don't know. What do you think should happen over here? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.